हेलो एवरीवन हाउ आर यू डूइंग माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू ऑल आर कीपिंग ग्रेट सो फॉर योर ट्वेल्थ बोर्ड एग्जाम देर आर सर्टेन डायग्राम्स दैट इज गोइंग टू कम राइट एंड इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू लिटरली प्रैक्टिस मेनी सच डायग्राम्स बट टुडे इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू विच आर दोज इम्पॉर्टेंट diagrams that you have to study you have to practice for your 12th board exams so uh, basically i have took certain uh, you know uh, diagrams from the previous year question papers uh, including the model question papers so let's get started without wasting the time the most important diagrams for your 12th boards biology so the very first diagram which i have shown over here is from the chapter sexual reproduction in flowering plants which has come in one of the model question paper or previous year question paper of 12th standard cbse okay so the question was about uh, draw the development of the embryo sac from the megaspore something like that so this is the diagram you are supposed to uh, draw so usually diagram based questions will be coming for 5 marks actually it starts from 3 marks so if in case of the question is for 3 marks if they ask you to draw a diagram you just have to draw a diagram but uh, when it comes to 4 and 5 marks they will be asking you to uh, describe along with drawing the diagrams okay so this image is there in ncrt so you just have to draw the same development of uh, you know megaspore or i can say ming uh, embryo sac development the question will be something related to this particular title so you have to draw this with a proper labelings and my dear students it's very important to know uh, while you draw you make sure that you don't waste much time for drawing itself so just draw a quick neat diagram and write the quick labelings without wasting much time write a correct labelings and the next important diagram from the same chapter is uh, yeah something similar to the previous one that is they'll be asking you to draw and describe mature embryo sac so basically this particular diagram will be coming for either 3 marks or 5 marks so if 5 marks they'll be asking you to explain the parts of the embryo uh, sac uh, if it is for 3 marks they'll be just asking you to draw this okay again the same chapter it is belonging to next in one of the question paper it has come so uh, it's about drawing the section of the anther so once again this diagram is there in 12 standard ncrt yeah and you all all you have to do is after quick drawing it's a easy diagram no no complications right so you have to give the correct labelings fine i guess we are done with the yeah we have last diagram so this is sort of important ls of grass embryo so if they ask specifically grass embryo you have to draw this once again ncrt image and uh, a quick diagram with all proper labelings as you can see so this is the next important diagram for your 12 boards biology okay 12 cbsc boards biology now we are done with the chapter sexual reproduction in flowering plants so my dear students when i say important diagrams for your 12 boards biology it doesn't mean that whatever diagrams i haven't told they are not you know no need to study at all it's important to study all the diagram, uh, diagrams because they can ask anything from your textbook but the diagrams which i am discussing here i am saying it is important you have to first study these diagrams give the first preference to these diagrams because it has already come in 12th boards in the previous year question papers or in the model question papers so there is chance of reoccurrence of the same questions similar questions at least similar diagrams at least so that's why i consider it as important okay so the next diagram is from human reproduction chapter a uh, high weighted chapters i can say human reproduction uh, human health and diseases a uh, molecular basis of inheritance so on so forth right so from the chapter human reproduction um they'll ask you to explain oogenesis for 5 marks or for 4 marks okay so this is the ncrt image you have to draw and it's not like they'll just ask oogenesis sometimes they'll also ask 
स्पर्माटोजेनेसिस स्पर्माटो जेनेसिस सो इवन स्पर्माटोजेनेसिस यू नो द प्रोसेस इज देर राइट द फ्लो चार्ट सॉर्ट ऑफ अ थिंग दैट यू हैव इन योर टेक्सट बुक दैट इज ऑल्सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इट इट कैन ऑल्सो बी आस्ट ओके जस्ट लिख हाउ ऊजेनेसिस वॉज बीन आस्ट स्पर्माटोजेनेसिस वॉज ऑल्सो कैन ऑल्सो बी आस्ट सो वंस अगेन फॉर फाइव मार्क्स यूजली इट्स इट विल बी आस्ट एंड द नेक्स्ट डायग्राम फ्रॉम ह्यूमन प्रोडक्शन दैट इज द सेक्शन ऑफ सेमेनीफेरस ट्यूब्यूल नाउ you need not draw this image only because uh, in your school or college i can say uh, your teachers would have taught something similar image showing the uh, you know tubules like this right with a two tubules or something so you can draw that as well so otherwise definitely this is the easiest to draw so it's important as well seminiferous tubule section enlarged with the labelings important next another diagram which is been asked or which will be asked is diagrammatic section view of female reproductive system in one of the question paper they asked to draw and specifically give the different types different layers of uterus and different parts of fallopian tube which means you have to for sure label these and the layers of uterus now there is an another diagram that can be asked from this chapter itself that is definitely male reproductive system and also mammary gland so these are also important diagrams from this chapter got it with neat labeled diagram please do practice from today itself next let's go to the next chapter another high weightage chapter that is human health and diseases so human health and diseases under this particular chapter there are no much diagrams as you could see uh, like if you unlike human production there is no much diagrams over here all we have is one is the uh, life cycle of hiv and plasmodium life cycle and antibody so these are the important images that you have to study so antibody image has been given in ncert you can give more labelings according to the text that is been given okay so i'll be adding this particular point add more labelings depending on how many uh, marks has been allotted usually asked for 3 marks and the next diagram def definitely i have already told you that is plasmodium life cycle which is very important not just for your boats Twelfth boats, but also for the other boats like you know, um, I can say, Karnataka and other state boats as well. They will be asking this particular diagram to draw. High weightage chapter it is, and uh, yeah, as I just told you, also replication of retrovirus that is HIV life cycle. This can also be asked. next chapter biotechnology principles and processes um this is not really a diagram diagram because it's just the process of you know how exactly the um restriction enzyme eco r1 is going to act so not just this whatever such similar uh, you know diagrams has been given or i can say process has been given you have to study definitely okay so agarose gel electrophoresis diagram has been asked two three times two times to i remember for sure okay so it can be asked once again or they can ask some questions from this image by giving um, here there is a band called as a b among this which is digested which is not digested and so on so forth so this particular image is damn important 
gel electrophoresis along with its process and the next chapter is principle of inheritance and variation which comes just before molecular bi uh, you know bio molecular biology chapter so here i shouldn't have mentioned it as a diagram but i am writing this here i have drawn certain punnett square with the flow uh, i mean the cross and so on so why i have written over here because many of the students think that this is a diagram first of all this is not a diagram this is the process that you have to understand and they can give any sort of question they can just ask you instead of tall and dwarf they can ask you uh, tall and tall or heterozygous tall crossed with the heterozygous tall and anything can be asked from this question uh, for any, anything can be asked from this particular uh, i can say concept okay so you have to know how to draw punnett squares of monohybrid dihybrid cross also you should know incomplete dominance codominance how to uh, you know perform what exactly happens in codominance and uh, incomplete dominance codominance and incomplete dominance right and lot of questions can come from the blood group that is uh, if the mother is having the blood group a father is having blood group b what is the wh what are the different types of blood group that we get to see in the uh, you know the children that they have so such question can be asked for which you have to do some similar flow chart or i can say the cross okay so that's why i have kept blood group as well over here sex determination in humans birds honey bees so these all would be considered important fine all you have to understand is the concept first now coming to ecology the chapter ecosystem under which ecological pyramids are super duper important and it's very easy all you have to do is just study it once so pyramid of uh, individuals pyramid of you know biomass pyramid of pyramid of number pyramid of uh, energy this is a pyramid of energy so you have to know all of these different types of ecological pyramids from the chapter ecosystem and it's very easy and i guess is the last in one of the question paper they had asked about the um something regarding the declining stable and expanding pyramids so this is the one that you're supposed to draw and uh, that's all for today so basically i have discussed some of the very important diagrams that is going to come for your 12th cbsc boards biology but however it doesn't mean only these questions will be asked only these diagrams will be asked they can ask any sort of diagrams from your textbook and remember the delete, deleted chapters as well okay so have a look on reduced or uh, i can say which are the deleted chapters which aren't so uh, remember that as well so don't learn all the diagrams from the deleted chapters even by mistake don't waste your time so this is all for today let's meet in the coming video until then bye